Hello, this is Imran Nemo and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use font or some icons in your HTML and CSS file. So let's get to be started. And before we start, please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. In this channel, I will upload web design and development related videos. Hit this get a started link and it will also show you how to use web fonts with CSS. Okay. We can include font or some CSS file to our HTML file in two ways. We can just use the free CDN link or we can just download the font or some file. Okay. When you will upload your website to the server, you should always use CDN. But if you use this font or some files in your local machine when you are developing or designing your site, you should download through this blue button. Okay, I will show you the both ways and I'm just going to hit this download font or some free button. As you can see, it has started downloading, but I'm going to cancel it. Okay, here you can see I have already downloaded font or some file and I'm just going to get this file here on the desktop in this project. Okay. And I'm going to paste here and it's a actually compressed zip file and I'm going to unzip or uncompress here. Well, as you can see the folder where we have got front of some icon items and we'll just access this folder web fonts with CSS and from here we'll just get this folder web fonts and CSS okay just copy it and bring it to the projects directory okay here it is at this moment I don't need this okay here goes the main elements just under the web fonts all the fonts and here okay I have deleted other files thus I will keep font or some hyphen all dot minified version so it's my time to just link this CSS file to this HTML file. So I'm just going to open this HTML file with my favorite editor. And uh, here you can see all the HTML basic elements. Just I'm going to remove this and I'm going to change the title to font awesome. Add the font awesome here. Now I'm just going to link this CSS file to this HTML file. So I'm just going to HTML link that and my editor sublime text 3 has added automatically. Just I'm going to or should I say type here the address of this file. The file is under CSS folder as you can see and the name of the file is what should I say? I'm just going to get the file name from here. Just paste here dot CSS because it's a CSS file. I'm going to save the file. Now just uh, run this HTML file on Google Chrome browser. And I'm going to check whether this CSS file has been loaded. Just right click and inspect as you can see there is no error so it has been loaded okay now here we will just add this font or some icon let's see the website here and now we are going to hit this icons link as you can see it says search 2986 icons that means you can simply understand they have a huge number of icons in their collection. We sometimes may need some specific icon. So we can just sort out using this category. As you can see, there are lots of categories. Say for example, if you need medical related icons, just hit this link. And you can see it has a filter out. And if you need okay just if you need animals you can see animals 
but first of all you should try the free on just hit this free link and it will load it all the free icons okay i'm not going to waste time and just trying to add this icon just hit this icon uh, you just hit this icon to copy the code okay and just paste here okay now i'm just going to save this file and check the html file again as you can see the icon has been added okay i'm just going to get some other two icons and style this again okay uh, let's get back free icons and some icons ambulance and what should i say this icon address card so i'm just going to get this ambulance icon code and paste here i'm just going to get this address card icon code just back here paste here so i have three icons now just refresh the page now it's time to style these icons just you can change the colors you can increase the size so just uh, just click on this how to use tab and come down come down and here you can see additional styling you just need to add this css code fx10 okay just add here just make some space add here and refresh yeah it's big now i just want lz only for the next one just make some space and paste here ctrl s to save this file and refresh your browser okay as you can see it's large but i want 7x I hope you could understand how to change the style and you can also change the color too. Thus, I'm going to change this color. Okay, what should I do? Come here and before the head is closed, I'm just going to type style tag. Enter here and the element is i icon element so we are just going to target i and color okay you can see now it has got the tomato color haha <laughs> but i want only the last one will get this color so just add a css class here like t color and add here small dot now this only third icon will get this tomato color okay friends if you are good at writing CSS code, then you will understand these things. If you don't understand, please don't be afraid. Just learn some CSS, then you will be able to do these things. I hope you could understand. And just I'm going to use the CDN. Okay. Now it's time to 
use this CDN. Okay, as you can see, I have added the CSS, font or some CSS from my local machine. But when you will just upload this file to the server or if your PC is connected to the internet, you can use CDN also. But if you use CDN, then you will get a better performance for your website because it will be loaded faster from the CDN. I hope as a developer, you know the benefits of a CDN. But if you work with CDN in your local machine, I'm going to say again, you should have your PC connected to the internet. Just I'm going to get this CDN link. I'm just going to get this link. Copy this link. And this moment, just remove this previous link and paste the new link. Okay. Now, it will also work. Okay, as you can see, it works fine with the CDN links, with the CDN link also. Well, as you can see, it also works fine with the CDN link. Okay. And if you have this CDN, if you use the CDN link, you won't have to use this files to be downloaded. Okay. I hope you could understand and please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and like this video if it helped you and thank you for watching. Thank you.